Good afternoon, family, and welcome back to another episode of Godspeed, where we provide you a weekly market overview for the Lexus LC 500. Fam, on this week's episode, we have the lowest priced, accident-free 2018 on the market. And since 2020s are making a splash this year, I've got two of them for you to choose from tonight. Both are the lowest price on the market and also accident-free. All right, family, let's get into tonight's episode. Before we do, I greatly appreciate your continued support. Please do subscribe to the channel. Let's go. Family, let's get into this market review. Wow. First week of the month, first week of the quarter. It's going to be really exciting to see how things progress this quarter because, you know, as several of you mentioned, right, and reminded me that, Tax season is absolutely upon us. And so as we get a little further out of April, it'll be interesting to see what happens to these car prices, right? Hopefully they will subside a little bit, right? Um, because more than likely they're possibly inflated a little bit due to the fact that folks think people got a little extra money in their pockets. Um, so let's see, but I've got three tremendous opportunities to go through tonight. So let's get into it, right? The first one <clears throat> is this beautiful 2018 Lexus LC 500 family, this one is in that amazing um, ultra white exterior. This is a sports package. We've got our amazing 21 inch wheels on lock. We've got the tenant windows, which let's face it. I mean, I hope those are legal because I love how dark they look, right? They just blend in and give that entire amazing spaceship effect to the uh, side piece here. And they blend in beautifully with the other uh, black pieces up there on top of the window, right? Definitely looks like we need to do a little bit of detail on these family, but you know, not so much did I, you know, do these with a car that costs this much money, but I used to love back in the day finding me a, a really nice car that was just dirty, right? And people, because it was in a dirty state, people didn't look at it as being as valuable as it really was. Um, not saying that that's the, the piece here, right? I think the reason that I've got this on the channel tonight is because, you know, we were having some conversations back and forth in one of the chats <clears throat> and we were talking about how these cars just do not depreciate, right? We had a $49,000 opportunity on the market maybe a month or so ago. Um, those were private owners, but they got snatched up. They had really high miles, 89,000 miles or so. Um, but now this one has been on the market, but not at this price point, right? And I'll go ahead and call it out. 49,900 for this vehicle, right? And so let's keep that in mind as we're looking through this vehicle. We've got this beautiful black, all black interior. This is definitely that tuxedo package, right? We've got the Alcantara. You know, the black looks like, you know, the bolstering here eh, a little bit, right? And we can see it on both of the seats. But you know what? I've seen some amazing tricks out there with steam and things of that nature that sometimes brings that stuff back to life, so to speak. So, you know, I'm not saying that we got to ultimately throw this out because the seats are a little wrinkled. Um, but we got the amazing Alcantara on the inserts and as well as on the seats. Same thing in the back for us family, right? I mean, this thing, don't get me wrong. It doesn't look pristine, right? And I don't think we're going to be expecting a pristine vehicle for $49,000 in today's climate, right? But let's talk about a few things that it is. Let's talk about a few things that it's not, right? Number one, this is not the most ridiculous miles in the world, family. 68,630 miles for a vehicle that is a 2018 in 2024, right? Um, I think, you know, obviously that's within, that's right outside of our average, right? So that's a little bit on the high side. Um, but, you know, let's get into the deets so that we can understand exactly what this is, right? Saying 9,000 below market, let's validate that, okay? 68,000 miles, right? Let's look at the, wow, clean title, zero accidents, two previous owners, right? Now, who's who's presenting this one to us? Okay, this is Or Cadillac of Shreveport. So this is Shreveport, right? This is in uh, Louisiana, okay? Um, <clears throat> we're at a dealer, so I like that. We have zero i'm sorry yeah zero accidents i definitely like that okay two previous owners i'm loving that especially for a vehicle that's 18 right um let's look and see if we can see price points here real quick okay so wow guys this thing was presented 
January the 4th. So in the new year, this thing came on the market at 65999 right? It has stayed at this dealership, which is very interesting. It stayed at this dealership for 183 days. We have went from, we've literally, gosh, they've dropped the price $16,000 right now. <clears throat> okay. Let me, I don't want to, cause you know, you guys know I could probably talk full 15 minutes on this car, right? But let's just go ahead and get down to the nitty gritty on this. I think family, this could be a tremendous opportunity for some folks. Now, you know, let's not pretend that every house is going to be for every buyer. Neither is every car going to be for every buyer, right? You know what I'm saying? If you got more money, then you're probably like, listen, I'm not, I'm not buying a car at $68,000. But if you don't have as much money and you want to get into this vehicle, $49,000 probably speaking very loudly to you, right? And the reality is, is that our community is split with both of those uh, audiences, right? Individuals who <clears throat> they're not rich, right? I'm not rich, right? But we love this vehicle and we're always looking for the best entry point to get into it, right? And, and for it to make sense to our budget, our lifestyle, right? Um, and so I think this one absolutely presents an opportunity for that, okay? But that does not come without some serious due diligence, right? I don't, I can't tell you, but I would imagine, right? Several individuals have had to look at this vehicle. You know, it feels like it was overpriced, but when it came on the market, but this was, you guys remember in January, man, we saw prices on the LC 500s go back up. So this could have been a little bit a part of that spike, but then it's dropped, you know, continuously uh, month over month, week over week, right? And then now they just said, listen, let's go ahead and get this thing underneath 49,000. The other thing I would say too, is that if you're interested in this vehicle, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, guys, I'm doing a little bit less structured conversation around this car tonight, but if you're interested in this vehicle, right? My experience says that we probably got a week or two um, in order to kind of act on this bad boy. I'm figuring that, listen, when they get down to this price point right here, they're saying, hey, let me get this off of the dealer's lot before we send it to auction, right? Um, I mean, I'm surprised to see this thing at the dealership for so long, but I would imagine that they're absolutely strategically thinking, okay, I'm going to price this thing to sell. If it doesn't sell within X number of days or weeks, then it's absolutely going to the market. I mean, going to the auction, we're going to get what we can get for it and move on. OK, so if you're interested in it, I still don't say that you need to go in there and accept forty nine nine. I think I'm going in there with the best of strategic, um, you know, approach and see where you can't get this thing down. Every dollar is going to make it worth it. Right. Like we said, if you're new to the show, though, if you're coming to, you know, this type of opportunity, even though I love the fact that we don't have any accidents, I love that it's at a dealer. I love its two owners. Um, I, you still got to get your car facts. You still got to definitely take out, take a look at your car facts and look and see what maintenance has been done, right? This thing's got 68,000. It should have had 30,000 and 60,000 maintenance is done on this vehicle. Um, you also need to absolutely take this thing over to the Lexus dealership and get, let, give them $200 and let them do a full end to end on it. But man, if, if, if the only thing that we can, you know, poke this car about is, it's got 68,000 miles and the seats look like a little worn, then for a price point of 49,900, I think uh, there's a lot worse things out there and there's a lot worse transactions that have taken place on the market. So like I always say, I think this is a tremendous opportunity for somebody. I, that's the reason why I'm putting it in front of you. You know, definitely go in, negotiate, right? But you're going to have to be pretty aggressive on this one and you're going to have to be pretty swift about it as well because I'm thinking it's on its way to the auctions, okay? And then do your due diligence. Don't get in there, family. Let me talk directly to the person who's really thinking about this. Do not get in there and sidestep your due diligence because of the excitement to pick up a vehicle like this at this price point. OK, please, every minute that you invest into ensuring what this opportunity is, is going to pay off a hundred, a thousand times after you purchase the vehicle and you're making payments or if you just paid fifty thousand dollars cash for it. OK, so please Carfax and let Lexus inspect it end to end. OK, they're a dealership. I don't think they're going to have a problem with letting this thing go over to the Lexus dealership for a couple hours, especially if it means that you guys are going to sell it and get the deal done. OK. All right, family, let's take a look at our second vehicle for tonight, right? Um, actually, not that one. Let's go. It's another ultra white exterior, but this one's a 2020. So we've been talking a little bit about how 2020s are flooding the market. 
And understandably so, right? If individuals had leased vehicles or if they've just got to the point to where now they want some of the newer features in the 2024s, then let's face it, they may look to get out of their 20s and, you know, get into a 24. I've heard several stories and seen lots of individuals communicating that. Now, this one is a performance package, right? This one's got the tent done to it as well. So remember, guys, performance package was a $10,000 value add when this vehicle came from the dealer, right? You get the retractable spoiler, you get the carbon fiber roof on it, you get the um, rear steering, you get, um, what else do you get? Oh, uh, carbon fiber seals on the door, okay? Um, and then, you know, the sports package gives you these um, sports seats with the Alcantara in them. And there's that carbon fiber we talked about, right? So we've got the best presentation of a 2020 when we think about the packages, right? You know, and, and I'm saying that if you are okay with not having that glass top, right? I know a lot of you guys really love that glass top. Equally as many of you love the carbon fiber top as well, okay? This one's got 33,000 miles on it. Let's look at the rest of the deets on this one. 2020 exterior coming in at that beautiful white. The Now this one, yeah, this is a real hard red because 2021 is when we introduced the circuit red, okay? This one's got 33,000 miles and again, zero accidents, right? Three previous owners. So $68,495 is the price point on this one. Let's look and see 16 days at on this. Where are we at on this one? World of Auto Group in Houston, okay? Um, <clears throat> now I got this in front of you for a few reasons, okay? Number one is we've been looking at 2018s in this price point, you know, for weeks now. Right. As a matter of fact, I think, don't get me wrong, those 2018s had lower miles on them. OK, um, I'm, I'm aware of that. But this gives us the features, two years of additional features, which, you know, I'm going to get into a video for you guys soon about features from 2018 all the way to 24. So that's broken out a little bit like I've done the packages uh, video that I've that I've recorded for you all. But I know if, if we talk at a high level, the biggest changes that have happened from 2018 to 2020 is going to lie in the suspension. OK, so if you're looking at a vehicle, and you're like, listen, I'm, I'm picking this vehicle up. I'm going to drive it like this. I'm not changing out springs or coilovers or anything like that. Then let's face it. I think that those um, updates to the suspension are absolutely going to benefit you. OK, so that's something to be considerate of in a 2020 versus a 2018. Um, and the 33,000 miles, I mean, again, don't scare me, but I know that for individuals who are paying top dollar, you guys want the least amount of miles possible. I would say that for the 2020, this is absolutely the cheapest, flat out cheapest 2020 option on the market. And I love the fact that we've got some reasonably low miles. We've got a attractive price and we've got the best package that you can put on this vehicle. Okay. So. If you're looking for a 2020, you're looking for ultra white exterior Rioja red interior performance package, right? With only 33,000 miles and you got 68 grand in the budget. Absolutely check out World Auto in Houston, okay? And then last but not least family is, you know, this beautiful 2020 right here as well, okay? This is absolutely coming in that caviar exterior. You got the toasted caramel. I think this is a sports package or touring? Nope performance okay so we got another performance package all right um <clears throat> got that amazing toasted caramel interior this one absolutely remember like we said carbon fiber seals carbon fiber top retractable spoiler uh sports seats alcantara inserts 21 inch wheels rear steering limited slip dif differential all the goodies right and we talked about the steering and the suspension upgrades that they made from 2018 which is going to make this a very desirable opportunity now this one's got 26,000 miles on it right we're coming in at a price point a little bit higher than the previous one we saw with $71,235 okay now when we look at the deets on this one guys again zero accidents and two previous owners right I think it's been a two previous owner night which I'm always excited about because, you know, the reality is, is that we do see movement on these L seeds. I mean, the, the amount of money that these things are making in the aftermarket, uh, well, I shouldn't say aftermarket, but after, you know, um, post original sales has got to be tremendous, right? Because let's face it. I mean, we see, 
we see individuals who buy the car then they may enjoy it for a year they may enjoy it for two three years right and then they sell it and so that's how we get multiple owners on these but when you get you know something that's four years old in a vehicle particularly like the lc 500 with only two owners i mean that that's saying something right um and again these low miles twenty six thousand miles each owner put i'm going to split it right in half and say you know thirteen thousand miles on it each the car you know should have been very much easily cared for and loved on one of the other things that i don't think we get a chance to talk about once we step up into the 20s and you'll have to you know kind of do a little investigation and figure this out for yourself but if you guys recall man by 2020 you know people the, the conversation around paint protection and ceramic you know that conversation was at its height okay and so while the dealers may not call out some of this stuff absolutely look and i'm maybe that's some research i might look to do to see is there a way for us to be able to assess visually right maybe not so on pictures but in person if something has received ceramic coating or if it's received you know a protectant a paint protectant on top of it um because let's face it that's going to drive tremendous value for us for you as well right um it's an aftermarket uh, product it's it's an upgrade that is i think very much sought after um and very much done in this caliber of a vehicle but it's one of those less obvious you know aspects that we might not be able to see on pictures that if you're looking at 2020s and up definitely to keep that in consideration and i'll circle back with you guys if i can investigate on how we might be able to if any of you guys know you know how we might be able to do it please drop those in the comments um because at the end of the day right this community is about education and making sure that each and every one of us have the best tools available to us when we get ready to pull the trigger on our purchase okay this guy's coming out of bmw of tampa obviously that's in florida um and you know again i like that we're the dealership um price went down on this one by five thousand dollars at the dealership for 32 days um, you know, we just crossed over into the uh, second quarter, right? Um, so sometimes that approach about getting there and try to get them before they have to pay taxes for the end of the quarter, end of the month, right? We might have to wait a couple weeks for that approach. But I think at $71,235, 26,000 miles for a 2020, you know, this is definitely not a bad price, right? Even the algorithm at car gurus is saying it's about seventeen hundred dollars below value where possible get you a couple extra dollars off there but if you're looking for a 2020 you want something that's in that caviar exterior with an amazing toasted caramel interior definitely check our friends out here at bmw out family fam that is our episode for the week i will have all the details of what we discussed tonight in the comments you guys have a beautiful weekend godspeed